And after 24 hours, well, almost 24 hours, um, that's it. And they're done and they're still curing. And you get one of these, I don't know what it's called, a knife, uh, a counter scraper, bread cutter. I don't know what they're called, but you push it out of the molds and then you clip, 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 and you make little bars out of it. And it's still hot. I can still feel heat coming off. It's still reacting and it smells, ugh, it smells very sharp. It doesn't smell like um, ginger or vanilla. It smells very sharp. It's the only way I can explain explain what it smells like. So you get this. Um, see that ha the house is actually here. Let's look at the wall. The house is sixty nine seventy. Um, yeah, it's about sixty eight degrees in here. But this is still reacting. So there were about eighty when I started to cut them. So right now, all they need is some oxygen and about two months. And that sharp smell will go away. So that one's still 77. Because it's still it's still creating the oil into soap. Even though it's saphonicated, it's still going through the reaction. And you have to cut them soon. Otherwise, it's really, really hard soap. So you have to let them sit for at least 24 hours to become this solid. But I can't touch it. And you, it is technically soap now. But you cannot use it um, because of the alkalinity in it. But then after two months where it sits in ambient oxygen... It will, um, the sodium hydroxide will get released as hydrogen and the sodium will break down into sodium oxide or something like that. So that is that. And now it just has to rest and I get to wait for it because it's going to be pretty damn awesome soap when it's done.